Oh my god, look at the battery. Ram. It's gonna be so much damage because it doesn't directly... Wait, what? Oh my god. Yo, what's up guys? Sijiko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing in the new season with the new evolution. Battle Ram Evolution just went live. I think not even one hour ago, I already bought the battle pass and right now we're gonna try this new evolution but as you guys can see it's insanely strong i've seen many clips where it just gets so much damage it kills units like as you just saw goblin gang skeletons and the worst part is that it connects twice on the tower a normal battle ram connects to a building connects to a tower and it just yeah instantly explodes the barbarians come out in this case it connects once it connects twice and it even spawns evolution barbarians i don't know what to think about this um yeah card i think it's gonna break clash Royale. i think it's gonna break the meta I do want to quickly remind you guys that if you would like to support me, you can do so using curated code Surgical Goblin in the item shop of any Supercell game. But of course, if you guys are, for example, gonna buy the Battle Pass for the new Better Evolution, I would really, really appreciate it. So I'm gonna be playing this, um, yeah, Bridge Pem deck, kind of a quick cycle Bridge Pem deck. It does look like a Pekka deck, but instead of Pekka, we're actually running it with, um, okay, let's go Heal Spirit here, and then afterwards, I'm gonna set everything. Perfect, so I wanted to say that I'm actually going to be playing a kind of lookalike P.E.K.K.A deck, but instead of having P.E.K.K.A, we're running it with the Heal Spirit. In my opinion, Heal Spirit is going to be a little bit better. Why? Because this way we can cycle quicker towards the... Um, okay, let's go Ghost here. Ooh, unfortunately the Ghost didn't tank for the Mother Witch. That would have been nice to create some more pressure. Anyways, very good situation. And what I wanted to say is that in my opinion, this version is a little bit better. Why? Because we can start cycling quicker towards those um get yeah, better rams i feel like with pekka you will not be able to cycle better that quickly where with this deck i think we will be able to cycle it quite quickly so let's have to separate in case he goes with bets i do know that he has bets in cycle in this case i think he might have mega knight or what does he have wait what does he not this, did he not what okay i'm really confused i don't know why he didn't play a single card did he gave up did he not oh he's playing a royal giant towards the right side okay i have no idea what this guy just did but i think um yeah we basically just ended up winning the match he decided to take well let the tower on the left side go and then here he went with rg plus bets and we of course have an amazing defense with the little prince also with the cannoneer um and then just stepping away the bets okay so looking very good not really sure what this guy just did but no problem for me of course okay let's go goes left side let's then afterwards go with bandit and then here you go, we have the evil better and ready. Let's go with the evil better and the bridge. Let's see what happens here. We also have the evil set ready. I think he might have furnace, but I don't know if he has enough elixir in this case. It connects once. Um, and then the better ram, as you guys can see, spawns evolution barbarians. I don't know, yeah, who came up with that idea, but in my opinion, it's crazy. Like the better ram itself is already really strong. And then also adding the evil barbs to it. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when they um, made this evolution, but in my opinion, I said it's gonna. Yeah, completely break the game, completely break Clash Royale in general. Okay, let's go Little Prince here again. Let's then afterwards go with Ability. Um, yeah, this is not the best player to win us. Let's also go with Mother Witch. And then this is pretty much gonna be a good game already. Let's go with Betterham here. He does have a really nice Fireball, but the Fireballs shouldn't um, yeah, be able to stop everything. In the meantime, we can just keep up pressuring. Let's go with another Ghost. Let's also go afterwards, I think, with a Bandit. Even in the middle, right side tower is gonna go down. And this is pretty much um, yeah, good game. I don't think the guy is even gonna play anymore. So many units on the field. Mother Witch here to, yeah, just to make sure we get the 3 count. Very nice W. We are, of course, in League 1 since the season. I think not even one hour ago, um, get resetted. And then now we, we have to push all the way up to League 10 again. So I do want to apologize if the opponents are not the best. But the most important thing is to try out this new deck. And especially the new Better Ram Evolution. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Evolution. Do you guys think it's way too strong? Do you guys think people are overreacting? I must say that the building can stop it quite well. So I think not in every situation it's going to get an insane amount of damage. And an insane amount of value. But I think in most of the situations it definitely will um, yeah, be very strong. Um, the good thing, or well, the good thing, bad thing, depends on how you, yeah, want to see it, is that it takes quite a while to cycle. Like, in my opinion, better ram, if it was, for example, one cycle, it would be way easier and way stronger. But in this case, it's two cycles, which is not really a card. Like, for example, skeletons, like, for example, bomber, um, which you cycle, like, insanely fast, if you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's go Bennett here. Let's have the zap ready for the Sparky. In the meantime, he does go with a mini pack as well. I think I'm going to zap already. And then I'm just going to go better him here in front of the mini pack to um, get blocked the shots. And then afterwards, the Barbarians. I'm not sure if he's going to have to respond to that. I think Cannoneer, well, with the Archer there helping out, I think it will not get any damage. But I think without the, um, the Archer, it probably maybe would have gotten 
one shot since the cannoneer yeah shoots really slow okay so i think we let's go ghost here not really sure what he has he does have the knight and psycho again i think he should also maybe have a goblin giant not really sure though um but it's looking like the typical goblin giant plus sparky deck so let's go with little prince here in the back let's see what he's gonna do in the meantime we just need to yeah continue cycling the strange thing is that he has um tesla in there like normally you don't really see tesla in these type of sparky decks but i guess it's gonna um, yeah, help him out quite a bit because we do have the better m okay let's go here let's then go with the sap in the last second and oh he goes with electro giant okay let's go evil better on the right side and then i think with the mother witch here last second plus the cannon here we shouldn't be able to um well we shouldn't take too much damage with the e-giant in the meantime the barbarians on the right side are gonna get quite a lot of damage unfortunately no connection with the better M, but still such an um, yeah such a lot of amount of damage on the right side as you guys can see with the um, evil barbarians okay perfect i was thinking about going with the evil set but i'd rather keep it yeah just to make sure we can get a good defense going afterwards against the sparky so let's continue cycling towards the right side let's go bandit here and then let's see what he's gonna do okay he goes with his knight i'm pretty sure he's gonna mini pack here so let's kind of prediction that and i think i'm gonna go zap now okay nice good zap that was a really good evil zap because it kills the yeah archers and then here it also okay we do need to watch out right now this is kind of scary but i think we should be able to defend this let's go better him in top of the sparky okay nice let's then afterwards i think go with a bandit here okay unfortunately bandit doesn't dashes but still good enough to stop the e-giant uh, or to stop uh, the sparky in the middle uh, in the meantime excuse me i can't even talk right now so many things going on in the meantime i'm gonna go with little prince here to start the pissing down this e-giant and here we can go with the mother witch let's go with another better end but anyways i think it's already over i don't think he will have enough time let's go with the zap as well better end will not be able to connect anywhere um but anyways as i said no time left for the opponent so very good w kind of a strange deck by him wasn't really expecting electro giant in this type of sparky deck normally people run it with goblin giant and also the fact that he had um, Tesla is also not really a card seen that often in those type of decks. But anyways, very nice W, good amount of pressure, also nice defenses. And wait, what? This guy is using the new Tower Troop. I don't know if you guys know that, by the way, but you can use the new Tower Troop right now. Um, yeah, you can get it for free whenever you open up your game. So make sure to do that if you guys haven't already. And then, okay, this is going to be crazy. I want to see how the... Um, he has it level 10, though. It's kind of, yeah, kind of strange to be honest, but let's see how it works out. Okay, let's go Little Prince here towards the right side. And then, yeah, the, the tower, I don't know, like it gets, it, it runs out of, um, how do you say, like ammo so fast. In my opinion, that's not really a good thing because look at the left side. In my opinion, like this situation, um, yeah, we don't really need to worry about it because like, for example, now the right side, it runs out of ammo and then now it just can't shoot anymore. So the Barbarians, the Little Prince are just going to get so much damage. As you guys can see, it kind of reloads i think you can say like really slowly and then in this case we already um yeah pretty much take his entire tower okay let's cycle zap towards the right side just to make sure that we have it in one more zap um range and then i think i'm gonna cycle ghost in the back so not really sure what deck he's running i think it's like a typical mid ladder deck but it's interesting to see yeah, someone use the new tower troop even though he only has it level 10 Okay, let's go with ghost towards the left side let's go with bennett towards the right side let's prepare the mother witch knowing that he does have the um, the skeleton army and then here we can go with a little prince towards the left side of valkyrie let's have the mother witch here ready okay looks like he doesn't looks like instead he goes with prince i think i'm gonna use the better arm here defensively to yeah kite away the prince in the meantime the little prince plus the tower should be able to deal with everything and then here we can just go with the mother witch to um yeah, start dpsing down this balloon okay i have an idea i think we can go ability left side and then have the zap ready in case he goes with skeleton army okay oh he has lock as well but look at that like the left side tower as you can see it has like a really high dps but then whenever it runs out of charges it just yeah it's basically useless in my opinion like it doesn't really do anything against um mid hp tower troops i think okay i would love to see the evil better right now let's see if he uses the skeleton army um oh he goes with electro -wist. okay electro -wist is actually pretty good against the evil better because as you can see it does reset it Okay, let's go little prince here let's then afterwards go with the heal spirit and i'm gonna go with a bandit just to protect all the units we have okay let's keep all the pressure i think right side tower we just gotta yeah kind of ignore it and then here in the meantime we can go with the ghost towards the right so let's have to separate in case he goes with um skeleton army in this case he doesn't okay nice both towers going down looking very good right now only 25 seconds left i think if we just focus on defense here we should be able to get this w okay nice let's go bandit here as well let's go with a better room offensively heal spirit just to um yeah kind of help it out 
and then here we can go with a Zep as well. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that should be a good game. As you guys can see, no time left for the opponent to take down our left side tower. Well, we already took down his, um, yeah, both towers. So interesting to see the Electro Wizard. Interesting that the Electro Wizard is actually pretty good against the Better M. If Evil Better M becomes really meta, it might even be worth it to use, for example, Electro Wizard in this type of deck. Maybe even, for example, in the deck we're running right now, instead of, let's say, the Mother Witch. Um, it really depends on how the meta evolves around the new Better M. I don't know if, like, everyone is going to run it. Of course, in some specific decks, it's really good. But it's not a card which um, you can fit in a lot of decks. Like, for example, the Evil Zep. I've seen it in so many different decks. Like, for example, Giant Graveyard. Cycle decks, um, Lava Loon, like Zep is a really, how do you say, like versatile spell where the Better M is really only going to be played in like two or three type of decks because it's like a specific archetype of um, Bridge Pam without P.E.K.K.A. or with P.E.K.K.A. But you don't, yeah, I don't think we're going to really see Better M in decks like, um, I don't know, just an example, like a beatdown deck with P.E.K.K.A. or with Better M, excuse me, just doesn't really make sense. Okay, let's go Mother Witch here against the guards. Not sure what this guy's going to be running, but looking like some... Um, maybe Psycho deck with the guards, or could actually be... Okay, yeah, I think it's going to be some Psycho deck with the um, Mighty Miner there as well. I'm going to go Little Prince towards the right side tower. He might ability here, or if he doesn't, we can afterwards just go with Bandit on top of the Mighty Miner with the Cannoneer that should be able to DPS it down quite quickly. Okay, let's go Hill Spirit as well. Bandit here on defense, and then I'm going to go Ghost, and I think I'm going to go ability towards the right side. Okay, nice, perfect, good, good situation. We have troops on both sides. He's going to have to defend right side. He's going to have to defend left side. In this case, um, yeah, he does end up defending really well. But still a little bit of uh, chip damage for us. Okay, let's go Mother Witch here. Mother Witch just to make sure we don't take too much damage. And afterwards, the Mother Witch is also going to help kill the Mighty Miner. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty rough matchup. Because he has a quick cycle. Hawk Rider deck with guards. With Firecracker. This is definitely not going to be easy, guys. But I think if we play it well, especially with the Evo Zap, we should be able to... Um, yeah, get something going. Okay, we need to be careful with the Hawk Rider. I'm gonna have the Bandit ready here just in case he goes with Hawk Rider. There you go, he does go with Hawk Rider. Let's also go with a Ghost just to yeah, make sure the Hawk Rider doesn't get too much damage. And then I would actually like to go with a Better M in the same lane. Even though we got a lot of damage to the right side, I think it's a good moment to pressure um, the same lane here. Okay, perfect. Let's see what he's gonna do. Looks like he goes Tesla. He also goes with Mighty Miner. In the meantime, we can. I think we can Zap here. Okay, nice. Zep wasn't the best, but at the, uh, the same time, it's still fine because we forced out those guards. And then here we can go with Mother Witch. Okay, let's go Mother Witch right away. Let's then afterwards go with a Bandit. And I think I'm going to pressure with um, a Ghost towards the right side. Okay, nice. Good pressure. Let's go Better Room as well. And this Ghost is going to be really annoying for him because he's... Un yeah, I was about to say, he's going to have to decide to Mighty Miner the right side or the left side. In this case, he decides to Mighty Miner the left side. In the meantime, the Ghost is going to get so much damage. Okay, perfect. Let's go Little Prince here. He's probably going to go with um, a Firecracker. Yeah, there you go. I knew that he was going to Firecracker. Let's go Bennett up high. Let's then go with Ghost. And let's go with the Evil Better M. Nice. Let's see what happens here. Okay, he does have the Tesla, but look at the Ghost. The Ghost is going to escape. Ghost is going to get on top of the tower. And that's going to be a lot of damage. Okay, let's go with Evil Zep. Let's then go with a Bennett here on defense. And then we got to go with um, a Ghost as well. Nice. Okay, we're playing this really good, even though it's a matchup. In my opinion, very difficult. Prediction for the guards here with the Mother Witch. And then we can go with a Better M towards the right side. Okay, perfect, nice. Wait, we need to watch out though. Better M is not gonna go towards the tower. Let's go with a bandit here as well. And then I'm gonna go with a ghost just in case needed on, on defense. Oh, looks like he does go with a hawk rider. Okay, let's go with ghost. Bandit is gonna connect though. Okay, nice. With the bandit connection, that's gonna be game. That was a really difficult matchup, in my opinion. Um, yeah, hawk rider, especially with guards, Tesla. Quick cycle is going to be very rough for this type of bridge from deck, but luckily we were able to play around his cycle, and the Ghost was definitely MVP in that matchup. Very, very important to always pressure both lanes at the same time and try to get as much value as possible um, yeah, out of your Ghost. In this case, it was definitely the match MVP there. Okay, let's start cycling with Zep. If he doesn't do anything, I think I would also like to cycle the Better M. Kind of a strange play to start off with the Better M, but in my opinion, it's not a bad play, especially now that um, yeah, the Evolution Better M is a thing. Okay, let's go. I think with the heal spirit here. Okay, it's not gonna do anything though, but it's fine. And then afterwards, we can prepare our ghost. Okay, let's go ghost towards the left side. With the help of the cannoneer, should be able to one-shot the bandit. And then afterwards, deal with the ghost as well quite easily. Nice, perfect. Good interaction. Let's go with a ghost here towards the left side. And then let's see what deck he's gonna be running. Another Hawk Rider player. Okay, interesting. Kind of a strange Hawk Rider deck though, right? Like, who's running Hawk Rider with bandit and ghost and skeletons? What? Not really sure what version this is, but it looks like an interesting version for sure. Okay, let's go here with arrows, and then I'm gonna pop the ability. And I think I'm also gonna go with heal spirit just to make sure whatever he drops, 
Um, okay, nice. Perfect heal spirit there. We will be able to heal the ability. We'll be able to heal the little prince. Kill the bandit, kill the skeletons. And that's going to be an insane amount of damage. In this case, he needs to go with little prince last second on top of our little prince. But that's already going to be tower down. Amazing push there. Okay, so yeah, he does he does go with ability. We can go with ghost here last second just to make sure we don't take too much damage. Um, and then afterwards, I think I'm going to prepare better room towards the right side already to start keeping up the pressure and to also to start cycling towards the evolution better room. Okay, perfect. Bedroom is going to connect to the tower. And then here, I think we just need to wait a little bit, see what he's going to do. He might go with his Hawk Rider sometime soon. Okay, I think I'm going to go Mother Witch last second and I'm going to keep the Bandit. Or maybe the Little Prince plus ability against the Hawk Rider. Okay, let's go Bandit here up high. Let's see if we can dash on top of the Firecracker. Maybe dash directly towards the tower. There you go. Very nice Bandit to be able to get some more chip damage on the right side tower. And then here we need to prepare for a potential Hawk Rider. There you go. We knew that it was going to come. Let's go with Little Prince. Let's go with Ability. Let's go with Ghost towards the right side. And then we cycle to the evil Bedroom. Let's go with Bedroom. Let's also go with the Heal Spirit behind it. And let's see how he's going to defend this. Oh my god. Look at the Bedroom. There's going to be so much damage because it doesn't directly... Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay. I have... I'm speechless right now. I'm actually speechless. Look at the Bedroom going. How many times is it dashing on top of the tower? Nah, nah, nah. This is too broken. In some situations, that just completely broken as you guys can see it dashed on top of the riser tower i think like three or four times then it went to the king tower dashes again like three or four times and we end up three counting the opponent that's gonna be it for today's video let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the new bedroom evolution i feel like in some situations it's gonna be insanely strong especially in that last match there was yeah I'm, I'm still out of words guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to smack the like button if not subscribe to the channel yet feel free to subscribe and i hope to see you guys in one of my next videos take care guys